Our story began once again in the heart of our most beloved kingdom. Ruled by a council of fine ladies and gallant lords, with help and guidance from good and wise wizards. It was also home to the enchanted heroes of Trine, protectors of the realm. And while most people believed our kingdom to be the most pleasant and peaceful realm in all the world, some had plans to turn the kingdom upside down. <laughs> well? The Astral Academy is ours. Those dim-witted wizards didn't notice a thing before it was too late. And the device has been tested with success. I don't think the bigger size will pose a problem. Stone is stone. Well done. Now we can proceed to the next step in our plans. It is time to take care of the heroes of Trine. In the meantime, the first of our heroes, Zoya the Thief, was not on a very virtuous quest. Zoya's intention was to steal an ancient treasure map from the town library. Rumor had it the map revealed one of the few remaining hidden treasure troves left in the kingdom, the others having been looted by enterprising fortune hunters like Zoya herself. There, there, little beast. Now quiet as a mouse. It's a library after all. Hello? Talisman. Did you find a mouse? So, I'm not alone in the library. It's raining. No rooftop adventures for you tonight. Thank you. 
The library vault and the treasure map should be somewhere up here. Oh, I should have asked for one of those new knights to guard the library at night. They creep me out a little. The way they don't sleep or think or eat. And how would they know how to treat our books? New knights? Hmm. there. Uh -huh. Hmm. So this is the reason why the treasure hasn't been found yet. This map is practically dust. Or maybe it's just my effective security system. Put the map down, thief. As far as I know, no one alive can lay claim to that map or its treasure. Get me some paper and ink. Let me copy that thing and I'll be out of your hair in no time. And if I shoot you, thief? Hmm, that might hurt a teensy bit. But I'm enchanted with mystical powers of trine, so I can probably take it. Just give me a library card and I check it out for a day? Precious pretty things don't belong in dusty old museums. Aren't you supposed to be a hero? Is this what they do? Harass civil servants at ungodly hours? Well, I can be heroic, if the occasion arises. In fact, I've just received an invitation from the Astral Academy. I'm to be rewarded with a medal. Apparently the big statue of me and my fellows on the town square isn't enough. Well, why don't you jog off to the academy then? <clears throat> It was unusual for Zoya to be unsuccessful with her plans, but the librarian had managed to distract her. However, in the meantime, Pontius the Knight was busy at work. As a protector of the realm, 
he was always called to help on any and many strange occasions. This time he'd been called to deal with a troublemaker at a calm and quiet little graveyard. According to the report, dark magics are afoot here. So, let's see what all the fuss is about. Mushrooms seem dangerous. Better watch out if I run into more of them. Oh, someone really had a grudge against this old tomb. Why? It's all turned to sand. The sand's a bit odd, though. Not something a fireball would do. Or a frost... Oh, what are they called? Not frostballs. Snowballs? No, that's not right, is it? If a wizard magic that box up the tree. Hmm. Empty. Good thing too. So I'm not disturbing any funerals. Wrong herbs? Maybe I need bigger candles. Is backwards really backwards, or is it actually the right way and I need to draw that backwards? Oh, come on, Gran, just pop your head up. Halt, evildoer. You're under arrest for crypt wrecking. Uh, what? Look here, my Gran's grave is perfectly intact. For the time being. And it's not even a crypt. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> Sorry about that. Have you seen anyone recently who turned stone into sand? No, there's nothing suspicious going on here at all. Good night, sir. I 
Young man leaving flowers and candles for his nan. How nice. And some drawings too, eh? <laughs> All those circles and lines, it's a bit too modern for my taste. See if I can find our villain in these ruins. My trusty shield, always handy. Only the back of the graveyard to search through now. Oh, I did it! I summoned the skeleton! Wow! You're arrested for necromancering! Uh, how about no? Skeletons are way easier to summon than human! <sighs> <laughs> Knights had recently replaced most of the ordinary humans as guardians of the kingdom. Sleepless, always reliable, and mechanically relentless, they had quickly become a permanent fixture across the lands. But Pontius was not sure he felt relieved or threatened when their forces swooped in to save him. My fellow knights! Sir Pontius, Lady Sunshine Crownscale invites you to a celebration of the Heroes of Trine. Location, Astral Academy. Time, noon tomorrow. 
Well, isn't that nice? Oh, I'll get to see Amadeus and Zoya again. Uh, did you know that... Uh, Amadeus the wizard was not living his best life at that time. He was spending his days at a calming spa retreat, but this was happening somewhat against his will. Things had taken a rather dark turn at home, and the wizard's wife had asked that he find some new lodgings for himself. Thankfully, for the mere fee of letting the spa owner use his name for advertising, Amadeus could stay there while he regrouped. Amadeus the wizard, you have a visitor waiting for you at reception. Oh, that must be Margaret. She's come back to her senses. This place is wonderful, but it's time I went back home. Goodbye, Buffet.
Oops, my bad. Sorry, sorry. I'll get there quicker if I take a shortcut. The path over the mountain. <laughs> 